Hi, in the novel course of planning, probably I would have made another video on any mails. Yeah, I have still a long way to go with the few hours. But of late, I have been flooded with a lot of mails. Sir, why there is no bumping clearance in the fridge compressor? Very interesting question. Could it be true? You think there is no bumping clearance in fridge compressor and AC compressor? Is it possible? I thought it's better to tackle this first before we move on. Hi, you are watching Chiefingers Tea Time Talk. I am Ramesh and I will take you through this channel. Continue watching, enjoy yourself and please do comment and share if you like it. Thank you. I am no academician marine engineer. So this video is strictly my view. Remember, it is my view and not the answer. The right answer is what the examiner wants to hear. Correct, no? Always. If you feel I am wrong, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment box and I will consider to reappear for my class 4 orals, though I am not really looking forward to it. Anyway, jokes apart, let's get to the bottom of this. Now, what is bumping clearance? Obviously, it is the gap between the top of the piston and the bottom of the cylinder head. Whenever a gas gets compressed, its temperature increases. Pistons get hot. The piston expands. We don't want the piston to hit the cylinder head and have a mechanical damage. Now, obviously, any reciprocating device, it, whether it is a air compressor or a fridge compressor, it has to have some bumping clearance. Just because we do not talk about bumping clearance in fridge compressor, does it mean that there is no bumping clearance? Is it possible? Does it mean that if for every TDC of the piston in the fridge compressor, the piston is actually touching the cylinder head? Obviously not. Let's try think and get to the bottom of this. I have tried to collect some materials on this and have come to the following view. Bumping clearance is very much there in fridge and aircon compressors as much as we have in an air compressor. Then why don't we measure or talk about bumping clearance in fridge compressor? Well, I guess it is because the consequences of increased bumping clearance is different for air compressor and fridge compressor. I don't want to torture you with formulas and theory, but I will try to keep it simple with some assumptions to bring forth the main point. Now let us quickly look at the effect of increased bumping clearance in an air compressor. Here we see that the air which is filled inside the cylinder at atmospheric pressure is compressed as per the polytropic compression. Here the pressure reaches about 5 to 6 bar and the air is being displaced into the intercooler. It's here that the compressor has reached the TDC. Remember, here there is a gap between the piston and cylinder head which we call it as the bumping clearance. Now there is air at 6 bar trapped here which cannot be pushed into the intercooler. Now the piston starts going towards the BDC. The trapped air which is at 6 bar starts to expand. It is only here that the pressure of trapped air drops to less than 1 bar which is less than the atmospheric pressure and hence the actual fresh air from the engine room starts entering the compressor. You all know that unless the pressure inside the cylinder drops to lesser than the atmospheric pressure, fresh air cannot enter. Now we can easily see that this is the air which is actually pumped inside the air bottle. Now if we presume that the bumping clearance has increased, that means more air is trapped inside the clearance volume. And hence it is here that the pressure inside the cylinder will fall below atmospheric pressure and the actual suction will begin. So we see that as the bumping clearance increases, the capacity of the compressor decreases. Now of course this logic will be applicable to all compressors, whether air compressor, fridge compressor, AC compressor, never mind. Then the question arises, why do not we talk about bumping clearance in fridge compressor? Let us start the answer by looking closely at the compressor system and the fridge system from consequences point of view. As per requirements of SOLAS, remember now the SOLAS is coming in. Air bottle capacity shall be such that it is able to provide at least 12 continuous reversing starts to the main engine once filled up without refilling. The compressors on the other hand need to be capable of filling up the air bottles in one hour from zero to full capacity. So it is obvious that a deterioration of the pumping capacity of the compressor directly affects the maneuvering capability of the vessel. 
it might throw the vessel outside the mandatory SOLAS requirement and safety of the vessel is jeopardized. Now let's consider the refrigeration system. The fridge system is designed to maintain the room temperatures. That is the capacity of the fridge compressors is based on the amount of refrigerant gas required to remove the heat increase into the rooms which are already cold and then they cut off. In addition to that we also have another fridge compressor. Compressor number 2 for redundancy. The, the consequence of deterioration in pumping capacity of a fridge compressor is that the compressor runs longer and that's it. And we seen that there is enough redundancy in capacity. You can see that there is no risk involving the safety of the vessel. You might have also observed that items like fresh water generator, purifier, AC, fridge, they do not generally reflect in the class CSM cycle, continuous survey of machinery. You never remember a surveyor asking you, show me the purifier. They have no regulations to be met as mandated by SOLAS. So it is natural that people don't talk about it. It does not get forcibly mentioned in the PMS systems mandated by class. Just because people don't talk about it does not mean that the requirement of bumping clearance does not exist. The maker anyway has taken care of it as per design requirements for a reciprocating machinery. I think we can rest our case here and conclude that Bumping clearance, the at a theoretical level, bumping clearance is very much there. Whether we measure or we don't measure, it has to be there. And uh, we should not imagine that fridge compressors do not need bumping clearance. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.